The U.S. Masters, the most prestigious nine-round tournament in North America, resumes with round four tonight. This is a very uh, high-quality event with only AGA seven down players and professionals invited. And of course, there are 90 minutes per player, followed by five 30-second VOMA periods, so each player can take his or her time. And there are plenty of prizes for this tournament, uh, as this, as the race to uh, the winner and the best North American player has started. As you can see, there are $5,000 for the winner, $2,500 for the runner-up, $1,000 for the third place, and additional $2,000 for the best North American player. And we'll be uh, keeping track of that with a crown in our standings card. And of course, there have been four past winners in the history of the nine-round Masters format. Mark Lee, Tong Yulin, Bao Yun, and uh, Wu Hao, both of them, all of them very strong. We might be seeing a new winner today. Of course, we have lots of strong contenders in the field, especially the two nine-down professionals. We've already seen them in uh, the standings. Uh, Fu Bin, the Chinese wonder kid, is uh, right now in first place uh, after the amazing win against Eric Lee, one-down professional in the morning. And of course, Zi Rei Song, uh, Ding Wei and An Dao Hun are uh, right after him. Uh, they are ranked by SOS at this moment. But, uh, of course, the uh, AGA pros, Andy Liu, Eric Liu, Ryan Lee are right around the corner. So they're still, of course, in top contention for this tournament. Now for round four, we have an interesting matchup tonight for you. We're going to be covering uh, board one, Fu Bin, uh, Chinese six down versus An Da Hun for board two. As you can see in the draw there, Ding Wei uh, versus Zirei Song, Ryan Lee versus Eric Lee. You can be following those on KGS as well. Of course, Andy Liu, the best performing North American player so far, is taking on Alan Huang, AGA seven down. So plen plenty of uh, good matches to look out for. Tonight we'll be focusing on board one. That is Fu Bin uh, versus An Da Hun. As you can see, they've never played. So we haven't really got a lot out of this head-to-head -head card. Of course, they're both debutantes. This is their first uh, U.S. Masters. Uh, of course, we've known An Dao before for uh, his very, very high ranking with the KBA's nine-down professional. They're both undefeated right now, but uh, we, uh, it's hard to pick a favorite here. We're rooting for Fu Bin because uh, we would like to see him continue his winning streak. But is An Dao Hun going to be too strong for him this time? Well, that's certainly what we'll try to find out. When we come back, we'll feature you a commentary with the uh, Elon Yang 7 Don Professional. But for now, we're just going to leave you with a scene from the Strong Players Room live from the William & Mary College in Virginia. Hi, my name is Jonathan Hopp, and this is uh, Yang Yilun. Uh, seven non professional from China, and tonight we're going to comment on a very exciting game. We're at the 2018 U.S. Go Congress in Williamsburg, Virginia, at William and Mary College. Uh, we've got a lot of people here, all basically Go enthusiasts, everyone who loves the game of Go, coming to play, do battle, learn about the game. And we are going to comment on the U.S. Masters Round Four. Uh, it is between Yu Bin uh, from China and An Dar Hun, who's a Korean player, I believe. Uh, do you know anything about Yu Bin? No, I don't know this uh, person at all. At all? No. Okay. I'm too old. So, yeah. <laughs> so, not the same generation. <laughs> uh, so, he's a younger player, I think. Oh, yes. Um, there's a lot of them. He's probably very, very strong. Yes. Uh, I didn't get to catch his game from the other day, but... Yeah, I watched a few games. Uh, he did it. looks very solid, stable, good player. Is he have more of a calm style, or...? A very solid. Very solid come style, yes. Okay, so like he's not going to leave any sort of weaknesses or anything like that. I couldn't see right now. Oh, wow. That's, okay, so that should be actually quite exciting. Um, all right. Well, they've played uh, actually a very complicated uh, sequence. Uh, we'll get to take a look at that. So what we can do is we can take a look at the game and look at a few moves and start with some explanations. Okay. All right, so uh, that's what we got going here. All right, so three, four point. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's uh, all good, looking good. Okay, another three, four point. So Mr. Ant uh, took uh, black, right? Yeah, he took black. Okay. So it seems that black does a classic uh, territorial type opening. Right, the two, three, four points. Yes. Okay, and so white. white take a four, four, and another three, four, some kind of balance, you know, between 
uh, development and uh, territory. Okay. All right, I can see that. All right, so black, this is a pretty big move. Yes, uh, actually there are two choices. Okay. The choice uh, in this, this is the time to approach our uh, enclosed corner with three, four point. Okay. So this is a, another choice. Of course, this is not good because it's too flat, right? Uh, yeah, the, this side of the yeah, board Yeah, even is... though this is also the, 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 the choice for uh, enclosed corner three, four, but I make a really flat position. So black may do this, but I may be peacefully, so probably black would like to um, create more you know, variations. It could be fun. Okay, so this will be more of a, like a traditional combo yeah. style. Yes. Okay, just for uh, watching, so this is kind of flat because flat, yes. this is a third line third, move, this is another, another third line, line move. move. Yeah, it looks bad. Yeah, it just looks like it's not gonna develop into much. Okay, in this case, he decided to approach. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why the public will also approach that corner? Why is a lot of options here though, right? Uh, there are not much option because okay. uh, uh, in this moment there are two choices for black, this one and that one. Right. Uh, after black took one, so you have to take another one. Okay, so this was a big move on this side, there's another big move you have to take. Yes, yeah, so you can always follow, you know. Okay, so in this case he did. Yes, so white may also approach the corner and the third line. Okay. But maybe white will worry about the, the position upside. It could be flat, more likely. So that's why white choose a high approachment. Okay, so let's. So if, for example, if white were to play like this, he would be worried about a uh, sequence. Uh, maybe not exactly, because in this case, if you black going to push it, of course white needs more liberties and also need to push out. Black needs more liberty, keep a connection between two. Right. Then white may jump up. Jump out. Okay. So it seems to why the spend so many more from the third line looks flat, but it's not really over concentrated because there's a long distance. It's not that close. If the position like this, that's really bad for white. Oh yeah, it's too many stones for yes, two little points. That's right. So this is still okay for white. There's another hand because after the blood push it, uh, this area isn't really easy for black to develop. Right, because of this start because point Because the stone. corner is white, yes. Okay, so in this case, white's not too worried about yeah, this. Yeah, this is doable. Of course, this is another one. So I guess white choose to uh, move uh, the approach uh, from the fourth line, so just uh, somehow some kind of balance. Okay, which it seems that's the same uh, strategy employed before. It's just, yes. So what about from Black's perspective then? Uh, after this, uh, the next move for Black, uh, probably uh, not necessarily to do anything here because uh, uh, this area isn't that developed for both players. Okay. So of course, that area is also not developable for Black. It's flat, right? Right. So this area also not that developed for Black, flat. So this area is possible because Black could play many moves all the way approach or extend for white, may also extend or even pinza. So I right. think uh, this is the area black have to think about for the next move. Hey, we have over, oh, we have over 500 people watching on the stream right now, it's exciting. Oh, yeah, because this is a bigger game. Oh yeah, it is. Mm. All right, so black approached. Yes, just like what I say. Yep. This area is playable, doable for both players. So black decide to approach from here. They, this move may work together with the previous move over there, right? Okay. So in the, which case, what should white do? Should white be thinking uh, about defense or? This area you can see, uh, seems like white has only one. I mean, this whole big area. Black has more stones. Right. So white should not be too aggressive in this area. Okay, like, so for, for example. For, for, for example, if white want to hop the stone on the bottom, so white may do this, sometimes may do that, sometimes may play some fancy move, fast okay. move like that. Uh, let's compare between fourth line and third line defensive move. Okay. You know? So we have to also look at the situation in this corner. If this is white's corner, this area is pretty developable for white. Right. But if this is black's corner, white isn't that easy to develop. Besides, if black somehow got that point, that can be very bad. White will feel really uncomfortable. Right, because then because the corner was open two directions, and there's no any more to enclose the yes. Right. So that's why maybe white may consider to choose some move over there, but because the uh, black has already played two moves here. So okay. 
White isn't easy to fight in this area. So I think White has to be defensively like this. And that's exactly okay. And that's what they Any play in the game. Any pincer, for, for for example, if Blood White choose pincer, uh, let's see, what should Blood do? Is this an important stone? Hmm, that's that's often difficult it for depends. me. It depends. Any important stone must be two in weaker stones. Okay. Okay. So the question is: This is strong stone, weaker stone? Not strong yet. This is definitely will be weaker stone. Right. So you have a stone between two weaker stones. That's important. Okay. So in this case, black should not choose them over here. Right. Because it's that choose them over, You sacrifice an important stone. You just got benefit locally, but it's not good for whole ball. <clears throat> if they play out like that, this is bad for black. There's two reasons. Number one, when white has thickness here, white may attack that stone easily, right? Oh, yes. Something like that, you know? Besides, you can see black spends so many moves uh, on the third line in this area. It's some kind of flat, you know? It will be over-concentrated later. So black cannot jump into the corner. So I think an important stone, you have to help, you cannot sacrifice. Of course, there's not enough room to make two eyes. Right. So I need to get out. Now, why does two stone? Which one need help first? Well, since this one is in the most danger of being closed yes, in, because I have to inside. Help it. Yes, we always have to help the inside weak stone first. But it's hard to pick a move here, yeah, though. Yeah, okay. So let's see if white will be defensively. Defensive. You can see black a nice ideal with, move. With this move here helping yes. him. It does squeeze white, also work together with cornerstone, right? So there's no reason to put a stone in such a difficult area. So this pink's not good. Maybe soft pink's slightly better. But it's a li little, little soft because this move puts pressure on that stone. That stone's pretty light, right? Uh, this one, it doesn't put pressure on that stone at all, right? Yeah, this stone still has uh, Yeah, room for example, move. next move, but let's say, okay, I'm going to do it like this. Do you know why Bala choose this move? Not here. Oh, what the difference is? Mm hmm I will recommend Bala play here. Ah, okay. Not here. Do you know why? What's the difference? Oh, I actually don't know the difference between these two. You have to look on this one. Okay. You have to look on that stone. This, is, this one was on the third line. Right. So if we play another line, it will be flat more likely. So you may choose the move fourth line. Third line, fourth line may work better. Okay, and that okay. makes this a lot more interesting. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's why white isn't sure how to find a uh, reasonable pincer, how to get a good result. Not sure, so white probably will defend here. Right, exactly. Okay. All right, and then now from black's perspective. Yeah, so here, so usually black will like to finish uh, position like that. It's not bad at all, you know, it's a low, high, low, like a, like a bridge, you know, nice looking. Um, but a black may also consider to do something else, okay. So this area is doable. Of course, that area is small, right? This area is not doable for black. Right. So let's take a look uh, on the upside. Upside, is upside very important, very developable for both players? It's not so much from black's perspective. That's right. It's also not good for, not doable for white, right? right. So I think Black right now have a good strategy. Somehow force white. Of course, number one, Black should not throw any stone in, in this the area. Top side, right. yeah. The second, you don't like to spend any move in this area. But there are another strategy. Somehow force white spend many move in that area. So that's a good. That's a good idea. Okay, so make him put stones and yeah. invest in that area. Now let's see. For example, usually Black can do like this. All right. If white answers. Okay, then the black is pull back. If white does it no more sequence of this Joseki. Black move out because this is fourth slide. Yeah, no, not necessary to be high. All to right. be high is too empty. So this is reasonable. If white does this, look, this is really bad for white. That's too flat. Yes, now it's time black may push. And that'll be very over concentrated yeah. quickly. Yeah. So this happens, it's really good for black. So the question that way white just follow the sequence to be like this? I don't think so. Because white may consider, for example, in this case, white may squeeze this one first. 
Ah, it's that way that you can get a move on the top. Yes, for example, if a black move out, then white can, then white can move out and force it. Now, this is, isn't really flat, right? This could be better. Okay, let's, let's take it easy, okay? If black move out here, white move out. Black are going to make a base uh, right. by forcing move. White, of course, want to protect the corner open area. Black use forcing move to keep a connection for all single stones. White needs more liberty and a connection. So black needs more liberty and a settle, right? So the white can get that. And that'd be quite Oh, this nice is and much light. better, right? This is pretty efficient, you know? It's a dual purpose. It, Extend with three, also with another four, right? Exactly, and then from Black's perspective, this may not be so developable for him. Yes, because that stone here, well, Balaka isn't easy to make a bigger position here. Yeah, this okay. is comfortable. Yeah, so it may be happen. So that's why Balak still want to, <coughs> Balak still want to make, a, you know, some good result by exactly sequence. All right, so we have a chat question. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, let's see, so black, so in, uh, so what, this, this game, game, black is going to, to use this forcing move. Yeah, exactly. Try to force white to respond on the upside. Right, which is with the strategy you are talking about yes, earlier. That's yes. not the interesting so, position. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Besides, this area, after this, this area is doable for black, right? So in this moment, black cannot do that directly because it's flat. Right. So for black, black needs a high position here by forcing move. So this is pretty interesting. If a white normal respond like this, this is we call stone touch stone. So do not ignore, right? So white has to respond by harness because white is weaker. Okay. When you're weaker, you need a forcing move. So harness is a forcing move. So if a black pull back, right, right, keep a connection. And if white uh, defend like that, uh, see, you can see white is start going to spare move in that area, right? Exactly. Which is, uh, which is not that important area. So after this, the black may consider to push it here, maybe push it there. Let's see, take a look. Okay, the white makes a base for himself. Yeah, the black is going to keep pushing, something like that. Double so maybe here. white has spent too many moves in this area. Right, well, this becomes more and more important That's for black. That's right. So, so I, think, I don't think a white will just uh, follow this sequence, okay? So, so white will try to resist. Maybe going to the corner. So black took the outside, white going to take the inside. This is more likely in this case. Right. But again, white does this. Exactly. Mm. So white does this, there's many variations, okay? Uh, usually, uh, seems that black has, so this looks a natural move, right? Honey from the outside. Yeah, try to see a white in. So white, the single stone need more liberties. So you have to extend They from both it. need connection, and the plus this move puts pressure on black single stone. So of course, the black need to lock the door here. So the white will cut. If black extend, the white has to hop the inside, which is a weaker group. Okay. All right. So in this case, black isn't easy to save the stone like that. That's too low, right? That's really too, too You'll painful. be crawling for a yes. long time. So Balaka will say, I want to get some benefit first. In this case, if white connects, now Balaka is going to sacrifice two stones. Oh, it's easy, because those... Yeah, this is a, Of course, white will not do that. <laughs> okay, if this happens, that's really good for black, right? Oh, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, so this one changed that one, so that's pretty bad for white. So when black... Play a forcing move here. So white will not answer. So white will capture two stones. Exactly. So then black is going to use a forcing move, squeeze. Then this is everybody know that, right? This is a good timing. The throwing to destroy eye and uh, also hop the all outside. So most people will take it. No, that's too early. Because if you don't take it, black will not take it, right? Not right now. So white will move out like this. Who is better in this result? Well, we did want to force white to play moves at the top. That's right. Locally, it is even for both players. But the early time, black said, I want to force white to spend many moves in such a 
you know, not developable area, but somehow Black is spending many more for over there, so it's not good for Black. So Black's not going to choose this. Yeah, so Black has to do something else. Let's see what else. Mm. When we touch in, so there's another choice, right? Black may try to separate white possible. Okay. And if black cut, then white here. So this is, there's some uh, ladder pro situation, ladder man, man, matter. Uh, white need to hop uh, two stones, okay. more liberties. White connects, that leaves a cutting point, right? Right. So how to defend this cutting point? One, two, three. Which one would you like? Ooh, this is a tough one. Most people will play here, right? Looks nice. But there's some problem. Problems. This is so, because uh, after this, there, there's an Atari forcing move, maybe how about uh, white two stones? See, if white got this Atari. <clears throat> You're forced to connect. Yeah, no, white may be able to help, you know? After this, we hop three stones. It's really so bad for in this black. case, black really needs to be silent. So black need to do this. Here's the point. Okay, can white do this? It depends on the ladder. Yeah, it depends on the ladder. Seems like there's a black stone oh, here. Right. Black will cut. Yeah. So here's the ladder matter, right? Exactly. Let's see. And then the ladder will go all the way down. Yeah. It looks like. Seems that ladder works because of that stone. stone. Okay, so if white cannot do this, so that the white cannot do this, white need to play a little soft to be defensively. Black go into reduce liberty and white. White needs more liberties. Then black still need more liberties by forcing move. Black connects, there's a cutting point left. If a white connect, black should be able to win the liberty race inside. You know which Ooh. is the move to win? Um, well. It should be easy for you. Uh -huh. Should be here. Should be, oh, just, oh, okay. Because uh, this is the move to threat link up, we got more liberty. Right. So if a white answer here, you can say this is, does reduce the liberty and white. If we put that here, no, it doesn't reduce, not reduce the liberty. Oh, yeah, right? Okay. So now black wins. Okay. So black may do this. So white doesn't have time to play such a slow move. So white will hop the outside by this. Black wins. Then white Atari. That's why it was so important to be solid over yeah, here. Yeah, to be solid. Yes, then black somehow get out like this. It seems a better for black, but it's still close because of um, uh, the corner isn't that big after white is all the way squeezed. Right, it's right like but a have many forces. A little moves. bit more 15 points, but the white also got some thickness. But if this happens, who's better? I would if, we, if we still remember the all in, you know, you know strategy play, yeah. from the beginning, mm -hmm. white's still playing moves towards the top. Yeah, white has spent too many moves here. Okay. So this should be good for black. So let's see what else. Black may do this. There are so many variations to oh, this. Oh yeah, so many variations. Uh, here, here, here. Mm. So black may play here to cut. Okay, so that's a really complicated, a lot of matter. So black may also do something else. Black can do this. Uh, even not cut. Black can also can do like this, yeah. This is also possible. So why is a cutting point then? Yeah. Yeah, white, white, white has a cutting point. Black also have a cutting point. Because black play here, not to do not Atari, right? Right. Atari seems like a upper white solid. So this is, could be a move. If white defend, then black somehow. But this is not good, you know, strategy. Because now black going to spend a lot of move on the upside, right? It will be like this. Of course, there's a cutting point. So, how to make a decision in this one? Which is the best? Well, in the game, Black decided he was going to push. Yeah, White will block. Mm -hmm. uh, Black Atari right away. 
Seems like not a good idea because it helps white solid to be solid, right? Of course, white must connect. There's then, no other choice. Then black must go down. Otherwise, exactly. uh, this, is, this is no meaning. So black must come down. Otherwise, how to use this? Okay. Now black has two cutting points. Yes. It's very that difficult. Puts, that puts much more pressure on white. So the three, four whites don't need more eye space. All right, so here the choice. So why they just uh, increase more eye space here or cut it right away? Cut it right away, it could be risky, huh? Black and defend. Yeah, there's no way to catch it. If white answers, this is, looks nice for black. Very nice shape. Yes. So if white cannot cut, it must be here. Black need to lock the door, white connects. There's three cutting points. What should the best defense? Probably Wait. that. Now it's time to cut, right? This Wipe seems like extent. a very reasonable, you know, result. So here is the, the, the choice for white. To just leave or to cut right away. So we'll see. Okay, okay white to... do both. Here first, then cut. Yeah, that's pretty clear. So pretty obvious, black doesn't have any chance to, to descend. Play that move. Because descend, got more liberty, hop the cutting point also puts a big pressure on white the corner. So that's a good play, then cut, okay? okay and then black has, of yep. course, the black liberty problem. Yes. So he has to fix that. So now white must do this. Exactly, it's so, so important. Oh, black probably must defend like this. That cut would be too painful. Mm-hmm. Because if white gets a move like this and it comes out, mm -hmm. that's just awful. Yeah, so in this case, it uh, seems like not that easy. The black has a good position here already. Everybody can see, right? So how about those two stones? This is the key point afterwards, okay? I guess from white's perspective, he want to reduce liberties of those two stones. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the normal move like this. Oh, this is going to be a difficult so fight. black uh, probably need to move out like that. And I do this. I cut, push, cut it too severe. Yes. Right. So we will like this. Or why well, I say, okay, I just need more eye space, but it seems painful, right? Why well, just spend too many moves inside? Nice. Yeah, black's, yeah, black's yeah, a very strong like black, shape. Yes, this is a perfect, that's nice looking. The single stone around here seems hard to use it. If you try to use it, they're getting heavy, right? So oh, it's an important moment. So let's see what does white do. White plays an interesting move. Yeah, white is going to change the sequence, I guess. Because usually white here, black here, then white play there, then black would defend here, which is damage the corner, right? Because then black is a follow-up later at yes. this. Yes. So white change the sequence. That's pretty interesting. Now we have to always change. If we don't like any uh, situation, any result, the normal sequence like a one, two, three, four, five, you don't, you're not satisfied. Satisfied. So then you have to cancel. Don't quit. You have to cancel. How to change the sequence to see what it look like. Exactly. Maybe sometime getting better. So why the doesn't play number one? Why the play number three first? That's pretty and, interesting. And then ask Black what he'd like to yeah, do. Yeah. So. For, for us, for go player, we have to run that kind of strategy. So from Black's perspective now, he, there seems to be an opening here for him to come out, but... Okay, but if we are trying to move out like that, first one, can White escape? This is the ladder matter, right? Or if you cannot escape, you keep running. Seems like White can escape. The problem is if White do this, uh, if Black cannot catch her here, this is pretty painful for white, for black. It threatens a double atari yes, here. Yes, yes. So black also, this isn't pretty, right? There's an empty triangle yeah, there. Yeah, so that's why black, uh, white play here, it's a, just, in, just, a, just invite, invite black move out. Black say, okay, I don't want to move out. Yeah, that's not good for him. So just play, still play the move for black want. So it's just, there's out of sequence is out of order. Yes, yes, they just change the order, yes. And then white, Protected his because stone. if white play here, that's a, there's no different, right? This is pretty good for black. This is this is what he was trying to avoid in yes. the first place. 
So why the can I do this to help this too? So that's why why to go that way. Try to use this. If this is forcing move, it's different, right? Then why to make C or black in like this? That'd be painful for black. Yes. So probably black will not respond. That's my guess. Yeah, black to do something else. Let's say I don't have time to help this guru. Even though you have a black connect, it's painful, but this guru isn't in danger. Right, it's basically alive. Yeah, so that's why, but let's say I'm going to help this one, but I, that's normal, right? But there's no pressure on white. So black is trying to be more efficient. If white doesn't answer, then black will play like this. It's still back to the, the original result, oh, right? Oh, okay. For black at that, this is very comfortable. Almost two eyes. Yeah, except in this case, white will be this way as opposed to this way. Yeah, so this is not, 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 not settled yet. That group is in danger and need another, single, another move to save. Exactly. Okay, so let's see. Black play here. Any, cho any chance for white? Yeah, white needs that. White needs that move. So I bet black definitely will play here. Yes. Very nice shape for black. Yes. And white, if white plays here, he has mm -hmm. to follow through mm -hmm. with the honey, otherwise there's so, no point. So uh, after this happens, so I, I think uh, even though this Atari helps white, but uh, the sea of white is pretty strong. Exactly, since this that corner is going to need mm -hmm. more help later, yeah. it's kind of painful to paint a little So maybe there. white has to just be patient, just honey here, uh, here, here. Even though locally this is not great for white, but the black spend many moves in this area. And also, white's corner is bigger this way. Yes, maybe white uh, just be patient, take a take an opening move here. This is still a game, right? Yeah, it's still playable. Okay. So white very aggressively, of course. Uh, uh, black also puts a big pressure on white. So let's see, how can white continue? Seems like black's pretty good. Yeah, white got that. This white white the, has to follow yeah. through with his main yes. idea. So black has no choice. Must be. Anything else you could double Atari. Right, right. All right, and White's, I guess from White's position, he has to make the black group at the top as weak as possible. Otherwise, he can't. This will become very weak very quickly. Mm -hmm. So here's the problem. Where is the follow-up move? Because White doesn't have uh, that much choice. The corner is in danger. It has to be something to threaten, to simultaneously threaten this group Or and threat it. that one. Gonna Not see. a lot of choices, it's not though. easy. White cannot do something like that. It's too weak. Like, it's too many cutting points. Mm -hmm. Besides, black can make a two eyes in any time. That's how strong that shape was from yeah, the beginning. Yeah, so this group's okay. That group looks also nice. Eye, good eye shape, no cutting point. Yeah, yeah. Lots of liberties. Okay, so white do this. White try to use forcing move to hover this a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So black probably had no choice, need to move out. Other, yeah, letting white have that move would be painful. Yeah, but I move out. Yes, exactly. And white has to. So now white has a choice, just between to live inside or squeeze the black first, because the white doesn't have two eyes in the corner, but there's lots of liberties, right? White has a lot of liberty because it's a bigger eye. So white, if white, if this cutting point isn't that seriously, white may consider to use forcing move to squeeze black. If black live inside, white got benefit. Right, so something like this might, if black would just live, which he could do. If he live, that's pretty painful for black. Yeah, because then white basically gets the entire outside. Yes. Maybe black can live here. So if cut, there's no capture directory. So that stone helps this too, right? Exactly. So why does black, isn't easy to kill white immediately here. So maybe black need to live like that. Then white gets stronger on the outside. So that I way. guess white will do something here. Just live probably not good enough. That's that's too easy for black. Good position both sides. Ah, white connects. Because white can say this is still too too difficult, right? Even if this group's not curable. But if black lives. Oh, this is too weak. Now why does a weaker group, another weaker, weaker group, group there, is. this is even not that good. So that's why why to just be patient. Just like I say, uh, 
this white player is pretty stable, you know, solid player, do everything for sure, no gamble, right? Right, there's no, there's no uh, risk yeah, here. For, 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 for top level goal player, you, you couldn't gamble, there's no lucky. <laughs> <laughs> if you leave a weakness, and, someone will find oh, it. Oh yeah, you, you will crash immediately. So white just will really be really patient. Okay, now here's the choice for black. Show black uh, just get out first, or going to attack Q corner first. I think getting out would be the most important thing. Yeah, it's an easy way, right? Just getting out. Or maybe here. Because the corner, if it's white comes likely. back to defend the corner, that's it's, small from white's perspective. Yes, if Obala play here, white just unnecessary because this, there's another Atari. Probably Atari first. Then white lift. Then black somehow just that. And so both of Black's groups are both very stable. Mm -hmm. And he has to develop on two sides. Yeah, that, that's an easy way for Black. If Black really try to be, you know, Aggressive aggressively, to <laughs> then spend time to read. That's a uh, lot. White is easily, but it has the uh, liberty matter. Okay, Q White from the uh, squeeze from the door because there's no eye point inside. Just make a smaller. If white here, the black are just going to squeeze. Uh, going to destroy eye point. It's, it's a one, one big eye, right? The, but the many liberties. So can white uh, do something like this to attack a black? Oh, that'd be very painful. So black need to get out somehow. So white are going to do this. Black here, white cuts. Then black also need to cut to, to make two eyes. <clears throat> Ruin. Yep. N not work. Black is fine. No problem. Yeah, no shortage of liberty. Yeah, you got your, you, it's a cold it's battle. A oh, okay. Yeah, it's a cold battle. But the problem is that but this panic is so powerful. It's not suitable for white. Okay. White doesn't gain much of anything. Yes. But I just here yeah, it's a free call, so this is not, <laughs> not, not good for white. So let's see what else. White if wants black to get the outside, kill. I think. Uh, if white just play normal, black lived, uh, that's and a bigger that, loss. That, that, that's that's too bigger big. Loss. Yeah, that's too big. So here is the decision black has to make. So this is the time, this is the situation uh, black need to spend time on. It. Okay, see which is mm. which overall evidently, is bigger. Yeah, evidently just uh, you have to read out. If you read everything out, there's only one way exactly you're going to kill. This group is okay, no bigger problem. Yeah, going to kill. Of course, this big. is easy, but that's the wrong turn, you know? Still game, right? Okay, so, that's interesting. So in this sort of situation, you, the professionals want to go for the maximum. Yes. Okay, so of course. You cannot always take it easy. For us, you can take it easy, right? <laughs> Some t t teaching game, you know? Yeah, you know, I, might feel, I might feel okay with black being good on both uh, sides, but a professional want the Yeah, absolute... it's a bigger game, you know, competition. Oh, well, black took it easy. Yeah, black take it easy, just like I said. Take it easy, because it's a pretty risky. When you're going to spend many moves, but you couldn't kill, you got trouble. Let's take a look again. Why black uh, doesn't have a gut to kill the corner? So let's see anything else. This seems that they, they, the only move is going to kill, right? Right. And uh, Black need to jump out. No choice. White cannot do something like that. Black is uh, out this, way this too It's impossible to see your Black in. So. I wonder what he saw. I, I will try this. <laughs> you try this? <laughs> I mean, why not, right? If you can, why not? If you, you know? can kill the group on the yes, inside. Uh, you, get... you have to trust yourself, you know? I don't have any uh, misreading, right? So, you know, it's not gamble. If you see everything, that's it. That would also be a lot of points, too. This is the only move. There's nothing else. Anything, anything on this side would be too slack. It would just yeah, be black, too, too black, easy. Black just lived. Black just lived. It's a painful live, but I kill a lot of stones. I guess, it, I mean, because this outside influence isn't worth that much, honestly That's right. speaking. That's right. It's somehow take it easy. I guess Black is a little, little bit nervous, huh? <laughs> well, you know, it's a professional, you know, you have to 
do everything exactly. Maybe misreading. Oh, that's that's terrible, right? Oh, that was, I've... so I think that, that kind of game is more pressure for professional. Really? Oh yeah. Okay. You any your high level professional play play you? They have more more pressure. They 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 really worry about somehow lose the game. You know. Oh, something they don't see. For example, right, maybe right. they miss something. Yes. Well, that, that I could understand that. All right. So yes, I still remember many many years ago I play. Uh, another pro, uh, oh, way ahead, like a 20 point ahead. <laughs> but somehow I, I didn't see Atari. You, That's you really missed... embarrassing, you know? Oh my gosh. Yeah, somebody Atari on me, five stone Atari, I didn't see. I just, oh, let a boom, take a five stone off. You were thinking about something else? Yeah, I, I didn't pay attention, you know? Oh, okay. Something like that. But uh, afterwards, wow, still close again. Oh, you were, oh, that was how much you were leading, Because though. I'm way ahead. Oh, but that, that's really, oh, my God. <laughs> this, this should not be happening. <laughs> like exactly. Of course, here, it, it isn't that obvious, right? But I, I believe that seems like uh, can kill this. But uh, somehow, but like, take it easy. Oh, OK. Take it easy. I guess uh, maybe he feels it's enough. I mean, some. Oh, yeah, of, of course. I still think that this is. Uh, Oh, careful, Balaka. Just like I say, Balak, please, I, I show everybody this, all right? But I say, move out. Uh, sometimes this, but not, not in this case. Do you know why this is better? I think the other ship has, a, has possibly have a problem with it. Because this guy is pretty solid. Right, there's no point. So there's no reason to near strong group, right? So this is good for defense, more space, more point. So I guess white and away Atari, okay. Then white need to leave. Yeah, but I could just look at this. And then that, gets both that's sides. very natural, yeah. Uh, I guess that will be happen. Okay, so they are not playing yet. Oh, actually, they played. Mm -hmm. So White's response was to uh, White response to be more, you know, efficient. Uh, puts more pressure on this one. Yeah, go for editing game, jumping in, peep. It may threat this. Okay, so it leaves some potential for moves like this. This is the only, this. yeah, this is the move more useful than normal, but it's maybe not great for editing game. But in this area, white will like to put pressure on black. Because later game, if uh, there's no liberty, it will be sticky, right? Black can peep there, yeah. Yeah, this is sticky. So white may lose a lot of points, but this is really help the outside, outside battle. So of course, this is stronger. Good. Because I play teaching game, probably just take an easy move. Like right, and just live yeah. like normal. But if this is your own serious game, you have to spend time to find at least the two choice. So this is normal. Something else, I'll find that. Yeah, it's more useful. OK, because I see. Because there could possibly be some problems. Yeah, threat that destroys some eye shape. Shape, exactly. Yes, yes. If, if something happens on this side of the so, board. So I still think Kabbalah has to do this. That would eliminate that completely. Yes, yes. OK. Because now you start worrying a little bit later on in the game. Yes. See, but I do that exactly, yep. right? Because I'm also a professional. So <laughs> most of them are similar, right? The same thinking. Yes, exactly the same. OK, so this is the idea because blood needs more eye space. Also, this is some kind of uh, pressure on white. So overall, this result will be good for black? Uh, yes, it seems like black is better. Because you can see all stone could be useful and valuable. But uh, this is the question mark, you know? How's this? Could we call this thickness? Not quite yet. Yeah, so that's why. This is maybe somehow black got a chance to attack them, right? But well, here's the key point of this game. If a white somehow can use this all stones here, maybe still game. Otherwise, black is better. All right, so it will depend on what white can do with those stones. OK. Well, white's main concern would be this stone now, right? Yeah. Right now, it seems that white need have to take care of this group. White oh, take care of the inside stone. White doesn't have time to do this. This is too easy for black. Okay, so very solid. Yeah, that'd be very nice for black. We have a question from chat. Um, so Atari, let's see. I think they mean the viewer might mean this Atari? No. Not right now. Not necessarily, because this is already, so no need to Atari there. Oh, OK. So we have some new viewers. All right, so just a little 
Uh, sort of refresher, we have a lot of new viewers, people who are just now learning Go. Mm. So a move like this would be a, what's called Atari. Uh -huh. So this stone only has this one liberty left. Mm -hmm. It's in danger of being captured. Mm -hmm. So black has a choice. Black can connect his stones or white will play here and this stone will be removed. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what they were trying to refer yes. to. If white don't want to Atari, it must be before this. Right, exactly. After this, this is not forcing move anymore. Right. Because so, you have to spam move here anyway, so you could spam so move there. there. But sometimes this is not good because if black connects, this group is getting exactly solid connector. Maybe somehow white may Atari this, but it doesn't look like. So if white decide to play here, Atari first. Otherwise, just here. But white's already made his decision, so. Yes, yes. So in this case, for White's defensive options, I guess most people like myself might play something like this. Yes. This move uh, looks pretty bad. Uh, it, it, normally, uh, normally your teachers say this is yeah, bad. It, it touch a weaker stone, but in this case, something else is more important than touching or not touching weaker stone. Because the single stone really need help. So how right. to help that single stone? Number one, you can escape. That's one choice, right? Right. Second choice, you could just settle. Just so the, the choice between live. yeah, the, the choice is just between settle or escape. So in this case, white could never escape. Do you know why? Because there's another weaker group. If we are going to escape, then you get two weaker groups outside. And that's, it could that's be more bad. trouble. So for white in this case, even though this is our hover block, but at least it will be settle a group, right? Immediately. Like this. Besides, the, this that kind of move is valuable, right? So this, I mean, white makes uh, I space territory yes. in this area, so ten he has points. a base. Yes, 10 points and the lift, not bad. So, so in this case, no, this is a correct direction, choice, okay? Okay, excellent. So in this case, I mean, white doesn't have much of a choice, really. Mm -hmm. So now for black, okay, black has to consider that here, need some help, right? Here, need some help. It's just defend and reinforce yes. the left that Maybe side. Maybe Black may also consider to do something there. Do you think uh, it would be too... No time to do this, I think, even though it is really big. Mm -hmm. But here is important. Do you think it would be too aggressive to start attacking this group right now? You couldn't see a good picture. You may attack a square and well, where is the benefit? Okay. You have to see a picture. You have to see the eventual picture. You like, do it, start first move. If you couldn't see the picture, the final picture, don't start the first move. So like, so for example, if mm -hmm. I, I say, okay, I want to attack those white stones, I mm -hmm. start off with something like this. Okay. It's like, and then afterwards you think to yourself, well, where's my next move? Okay, here's the key point, okay. Are uh, those two stones important? White can get, can So get it's rid not of them. important. So this is even not a real forcing move. Right, right. right can... Besides the white, we're not just answer here. White, we no. do something in direct defensive move, right? Exactly. And then so so then, then, then somehow you spam over here, you have to do responsible. You have to continue. But then you are getting heavier. So this is a bad time to attack. Exactly. So, so I think this is important because that's not settled yet. This single don't need help. So I, I believe that this should be the next move. I think also it helps to think if your opponent plays in the area, if, if it's bad for you. Mm -hmm. So like if white were to have a stone somewhere in yes. here, this will be weak and this will be weak. That's right. Also, so, that, that's a pretty open area, right? So you want to play a move like this. Yes. Which is exactly what was played in the game. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So white's got that weak group he has to somehow deal with here. Mm -hmm. uh, if, it's, if he doesn't defend it... No, when black... Uh, but this position established, getting stronger, that group actually getting weaker. Right, because now white doesn't really have any yeah, sort of some, chance. Yes, yeah, so somehow if white run that way, this is waiting here, right? So he's got to think about this group immediately. Yeah, so in this case, I think white, number one, have to take care of this group. Number two, this is regular, most valuable move. So the choice between here and over there. Let's see, which move where white play? Uh-huh. Why the player here is going to help this group also, you can see. So early time I say uh, this Atari, maybe White would like to do this Atari. Now, after this push, it, this Atari is possible. Yeah, because Black starts to lose liberties. Yeah, so, so the early time, this Atari may be too soon because White may use this, take away liberty here, 
Atari Hane double Hane somehow separate Black. Let's let's um let's just so it seems that Black can need to respond. So what why is threatening then mm -hmm. is being able to Atari here. Yeah, the Hane. Then Hane. Yeah. And then the Atari. Three. Then Black is forced to connect. Yeah. Then Atari I can again. I get separate again. Yeah. This is where be some bigger calls. But this call really heavy for Black, right? It will be like this. And black stands to lose a lot more in this code than white does. Yes, but there's a code thread. Here. Which is from this move over here. Yes, so, so black cannot attend. Okay. okay, so so I will say, okay, early time we say, uh, before white leave, Atari is possible, but uh, this Atari may be a little too early because you raise this, because white can use this forcing move. Right, so let, leave yourself the options for later. Yes. So I guess Black need to do response, something like that. Yep. Because this is the move to protect the connection, also keep a pressure white, right? It take away Liberty and white. Exactly, and white doesn't have eye space yet necessarily. Yes, yes. So I guess white need to do that. So white would probably have to Hane. Okay. So white wouldn't wouldn't do anything too oh, that, defensive. That, that, like that, that's too that, slow. That's only one purpose, just defense. But that move also take away liberty and black. We call forcing move. Okay. Or threat something, right? You have a good follow-up. If you couldn't cut here, you have a good Atari there. But black cannot allow this Atari. So why don't you do this? Black need to respond. Right. Now this school is getting a little better than before, right? So it's a lot stronger, more liberty, it's more eye space. Yes. Because okay. I guess white is looking for maybe reducing this at some other point. Okay, so let's see what does white do. Why did they hunt it? Okay, so white hunt it in the game. Okay, so it hasn't played yet, I don't think. All right, we can let him play a few more moves. Um, okay. And then we can see, but so far I think we've got a good handle on the game. Yes, yeah, seems like a way. Uh, they did pretty good. Also, we, I think, we think they did also, also pretty good job, right? Right, we don't have the most pressures they do, though. Yeah, so we don't have pressure, yes. <laughs> Just the reasonable to look at the whole ball, so what's the reasonable, what's, what's the next follow-up move, more likely, so we, we, we're lucky. They got most uh, the move before they play, right? Right, exactly. Okay, okay. see you everybody soon. All right, so welcome. I'm Chris Garlock from the American Go eJournal team and very pleased to be joined by Stephanie Yin. Stephanie, thanks for being here. Hi, Chris. Hi, everyone. So, yeah, so we got called in. We're going to try a little experiment here. I'm very glad that everybody's out there watching. Uh, and we have a, a special guest who's going to help us. Would you like to introduce him? Yeah, Mr. Gong, he, uh, he's uh, Chi Chen, or you can call him a Chi Chen. It's from uh, Facebook Open Go team. Yeah, so you guys have been doing, I think you've had uh, two simuls already, right? Uh, we have done all three of our simuls. All three of the simuls. So you're all done with the simuls. Um, and then uh, tomorrow night, Stephanie and I are going to do a commentary on the Perigo. Perigo, it's very exciting. Yeah, mm -hmm. who are the players again? Uh, Ryan Lee and, and Andy Leo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will ask you later who you're betting on, but I won't okay. ask you right now. So, all right, so you uh, have not analyzed this game yet, right? Yeah, yeah right. Uh, we'll do everything on the fly, and we'll see what open goal suggests and what's the current win rate of the board. All right. And, of course, uh, you all can uh, give us your comments or questions. They'll be relayed to us, and uh, we, will, we will do our best. Uh, mm -hmm. to answer them. Yeah. I have total confidence in you guys. Yes. All right, so All right. let's, let's, uh, let's take it from the top. Mm -hmm. So in this game, um, uh, Black is, um, so the, the Korean Nine Dan Pro, um, and, and uh, he, sorry if my pronunciation mm. is correct, and, and uh, he is playing uh, Black, and uh, Fu, Fu Bing from China is playing White. Um, so Fu Bing is not a lot of people are very familiar with right. him. Yeah, I think this is his first time to join on uh, U.S. Go Congress. He is. But he already won three games straight. Very impressive. He, yeah, he won two American pros already. So sad. Yes. Yeah, so Good sad. for him, but so sad for Good us. Good for him. Yes. 
Okay, so I think his his style by looking at his the three games he have been playing in the Gold Congress, I think his style is very um, sol solid style. Very solid. And um, he's not very good at the uh, end game and compared with other skills he has. Mm -hmm. So he's good at the opening and the fighting in the mid games. Um, so let's see how he's going to do in this game. Mm -hmm. And you can yeah, stop us anytime you have a. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I think approach that first. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, black appro yeah, uh, approach right. is here first. Okay. And then white uh, approached this corner. Yes. Okay. And black. Oh, this is a very. Um, Complicated it yeah, opening. What is because, going on here? Yeah, because both players keep approaching each other's corners. Um, and you'll jump in anytime you have some interesting numbers to share with us. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so after a, a black approach here, so I'm thinking about uh, what it's going to extend on the side. This is what I was going to play. So in the actual game, on. Um, uh, so open go actually such suggests uh, to finish the Tozaki the over there, the which is the upper right corner. Yeah. So so attachment. That, yeah. And after this Joseki, it's uh, fifty-five percent for black. Fifty-five percent for black. So mm -hmm. generally, when you st when you start up the game, white has a better percentage. Mm -hmm. So it's between I believe it's two versus forty-eight. Yeah. Okay, so which move white did wrong? That's the question. Because now, after white played an attachment move here, black already achieved to 55, you said, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing maybe uh, this move? Uh, but it looks very zero, right? That's our yeah. coach move. There's nothing um, wrong with that. You got me. Yeah, mm -hmm. my, my guess is that after that, uh, AI really, really likes this move. Oh, uh, I have been seeing a lot this moves yeah, yeah. and trying to force white yeah. to play the, the third line yeah. here. And mm -hmm. uh, with this cut and the uh, three three attachment in the corner, uh, this uh, black stones actually are really strong. Mm -hmm. And by playing on the other side, now white has really awkward choice on the side. Right, by making so after yeah. this exchange moves, if black choose this Joseki again. And it will make white shape even inefficient, more inefficient. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. now it doesn't have any good extension moved on the side anymore. So yeah. before we continue, there's a good chat question, uh, mm -hmm. which which folks I think are going to be very happy with the answer, which is that uh, if somebody wants to know what the difference is between the hardware uh, you're using and the average computer for the Facebook AI. And I think you're just using a regular laptop, right? This is not a special. Uh, no, no, it's actually running remotely on the server. So it's uh, with a beefy GPU, but we just analyze it with 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. So just doing a fast uh, feedback. To see but it is something yeah. that's available to folks, right? Um, uh, it is. You can like rent it on like Amazon, or you can buy it. But it's going to be uh, not ex not cheap. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had one. I know. Yeah. Michael Redmond is going to be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> you can also do uh, with uh, regular. Uh, Laptops or computers, um, but it just takes longer. Ah, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, right, it just takes too long. It's right because uh, yours, yours is much faster. Yeah, not not really too long, but it's, it will be longer. Yeah. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Good question. Um, whose names? Right? Oh, well, and also that you're eight down. People should know that you're you're eight down. Yeah, pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. So uh, my first name is uh, Q U C H E N G, and you can look me look me up. Uh, AJ website. You should have oh. me. That's, that's why I just yeah. Mr. Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Kong. <laughs> right. Okay. Back to the game. Yeah. Good right. questions. Let's, Keep them coming. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. So in the actual game, Black didn't play the shorter hit. So. Yeah. Black. Um, yeah. White responded here, and yeah. Black played an attachment move here. Hmm. Mm. That's. Um, I don't know what what Black is planning because Black approached on. Um, both corners on the left, and now decided to come back to respond to another approach move. Yeah, kind of, it's kind of random. Yeah, okay. Mm. Stephanie not happy. Um, my style is more 
uh, balance the style. Mm -hmm. I want to finish up something first and then start something else. I'm right. not very good at uh, complicated. Maybe I shouldn't say in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. A lot of people know my style now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I like to complete one thing and then start something else. This That's game's going to be a lot of fun for you then because I don't see anything complete yet. Right. So it will yeah. be very complicated when mm -hmm. you do a lot of unsettled uh, fighting but, but on the board. This is why we have the AI to help us understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so in the game, uh, White decided to go to the corner. Yeah. So uh, the simpler way is just to honey, to honey on yeah. the outside, yeah. and Black to pull the stone back, and White uh, can either make a tiger smelt or connect, yeah. and Black take the corner, and White blocks, Black descend, and White jump to the center. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I guess why it doesn't choose this variation because now mm -hmm. this becomes a very good point for yeah, black. Too low, right? Mm, yeah. Too low. Yeah. yeah. So there's no point for white to build a wall mm -hmm. on the right side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So white went to the corner, and black bumped, and now white needs to pull the stone back. And black Atari. So now, when I was studying uh, this Joseki when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I really hate it because it's very complicated. Mm -hmm. So the Joseki. Oh, oh yes. Oh, this is a very complicated one. Yeah. Yeah. So you start a fight right away from the beginning. Right. So usually I like just play the simple Joseki. This and is then not a simple Joseki. No, not at all. Yeah. It's now since the ladder now is working for white. <laughs> this is a professional way to do it. <laughs> it's, I'm I'm doing this <laughs> like <know>. a snake, <laughs> and then. Since the latter is working for white, now white can play the knight's move nice, here to so nice, close nice. black. Yeah, so if the lighter doesn't work, white has to either extend or push over mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then it will be a very complicated fight in the corner. So whoever is going to mess up, and whether it There's die. so many ways to mess mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I can see why you didn't like this. No. But now that you're all grown up, you like it, right? Mm -hmm. No, you still don't like it. No. <laughs> if I can avoid this Joseki, I would choose to avoid. But I'm with you. Unless I have to. Right. Mm -hmm. If somebody else starts it, you'll, you know. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, so Black had decided to block here and to follow the very complicated Joseki. Cut it, and this is a very straightforward. They're, they're just showing off. <laughs> they're they're um, showing whether uh, who is going to memorize this particular right. better. That's right. That's <laughs> right. And then I think that I believe the next move should be here, since the letter is working. Yeah, but uh, so uh -oh. obviously uh -oh. AI has a different opinion. Oh, I have, a, it. but uh, it's mm -hmm. the same idea, but uh, slightly different. It's just one one oh. one line lower. Whoa, does that here? Yes. Oh. What do you think? This is my first time to see this, yeah. by the way. Oh. This, I'm thinking this is not Joseki. No, I don't think so. Yes, it's, I, new, new Joseki? There's, there's only three right. Josekis right. here. Yeah. Looks like Clicko. Right. Miss Click. Miss Click. So, um, we, so do what's. What's going on? Oh, um, because of the Hane. Yeah, because of the Hane, if Black Atari... First of all, the, the, the ladder doesn't work for, for for Black. For Black, right. Yeah. And second, uh, even though it's, work, it's working for Black, White can still... Cross um, underneath. Mm -hmm, connect. Uh, and also, I don't think this move will work, because since the corners are already alive, uh -oh. and if the four stones are get enclosed, Black is not going to win the Liberty fight. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Because it only has a five Liberties. And at the corner, white is almost alive already. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look good. So I wonder... That looks like a disaster. Yeah, I would be very surprised if uh, my opponent showed this song, <laughs> showed this move up. <laughs> it would give me a lot of headache. <laughs> You read that out pretty quickly for never having seen that but before. But I don't have the solution yet. Okay. Yeah. So I will I will probably spend uh, ten or twenty minutes on Just this. Just reading movie. it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so in the actual game, uh, I think white played here, and then black attached. Yeah, and then white has to 
extend, and so this is the normal joseki. And now black, a uh, white needs to make an uh, empty triangle. Usually, this is a bad shape. For sure. But now, since the the ladder doesn't work this way, but the ladder will work from the other way. Mm -hmm. So white still need to save the two stones. Right. If the two stones are dead, everything is uh, so is finished. Sad. Mm -hmm. So. Do you know why uh, white needs to make this exchange before create, white? Create the cut. Yeah, good. So after this exchange, now after white goes here, later on, this is the Cintiq cut. Yes. There's a... Double Otario. Yeah, double Otario, a connect and die here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, connect and right. die. But I think before white is going to cut here, white will squeeze one more time and make black to a bad shape. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Yeah. The, now all of the eye space on the bottom are gone. So ugly. And, yeah. So after this exchange how many, how many move... How empty triangles? Uh, <laughs> two. <laughs> so after this exchange move, the corner now is alive. So without this exchange, if black goes here, the corner is still dead. Because yep. that's a bulky five. Yeah, yeah. So that's called... Or it's called a knife handle five. It's just called dead. Mm -hmm. After this exchange, if um, black continue Atari here, now blocking here becomes a sente, and black needs to capture, and white now is able to live. Mm -hmm. So that exchange is very important mm -hmm. in this joseki. So if white goes here, and then after that, white... I think oh. people are starting to understand why you hated this joseki. Yeah, because it it's has just, a lot of variations. And, but it just keeps getting worse. <laughs> Right. Right. Just... One more move is adding more more variations. Right, so cut? Mm -hmm. No, uh, black didn't follow uh, okay. the yeah. Hana here. Instead... Uh... Open Go has is, is, uh, got suggestions here? or? Uh, uh, I haven't looked at this okay. one yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and then white blocks and black make a Turkish mouse. So I think the idea behind the Hana is Black is trying to avoid the sente, which is showed, mm -hmm, so that mm -hmm. now the corners still need to move to make a life. Yeah. So the later on, black is still able to play the sente. So. Okay. So we do have a question from audience. Yes. When black presses D sixteen. D sixteen. You have mm -hmm. to tell us. We don't have any <laughs> coordinates uh, on the board. Right. The side presses D sixteen. Is this one? The on the cutting on the C6. Uh, yeah, our coordinates are kind of reversed. So I'm not sure what... Oh, uh, we do have a coordinate. Over there, okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. D16. Oh, that's, that's a oh. variation we talk, talk about uh, mm -hmm. on, uh, on this one. Right, that's oh. I was wondering yeah. if that was what that was, yeah. Okay. Cutting on the C6. I guess I guess uh, it's more worried about the uh, oh the push and cut the push and oh, cut problem. Push and cut. I don't yeah. think it will work for no, white. Not not yet no. anyway. I don't think yeah. so, unless Open Go has a different opinion on it. Yeah, but that was a question but, um, as to whether to whether. Oh, yeah. But this mm -hmm. this uh, version seems very situational. It has to be uh, white has to be very strong outside for this to for work. For it to work, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. When when white has a oh, two surface pincer, then the push and cut will work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when you don't have any stones on the outside, I don't think it will work for white. It's too dangerous. So now yeah. black can just simply block, and then the corners here is in danger, and the outside is still weak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good so, question. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. go back to the game. So in the actual game, what black yeah. play the honey and then make the tiger's mouth here. Yeah, that I think it's just uh, to emphasize that the white corner needs one more move. It sure does. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. white is able to get uh, this honey outside. Yeah. That is a that's very comfortable move. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because now black needs to connect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as of now, uh, open goal thinks it's uh, in white's favor is 57%. 57% mm -hmm. for white. Yes. Okay, so white is still leading. And you were saying that white starts out at 52. 52. So this is not a huge jump. It's, but mm -hmm. it's sort of slightly favoring. So it's... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then white played here. And now black needs to extend because the, the group on the top is in danger. Mm -hmm. 
So what's the next move? My first intuition is the enclosure here, but still the corner is not alive yet. Hmm. Right. And it has a lot of cutting point on the outside. So if I could make this exchange move here, then white will be very happy about it because I already uh, forced black mm -hmm. to, to make a small lift over there. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think that's probably not going to happen. Blacks might just directly cut. Might be very angry and try <laughs> to kill the corner. <laughs> mm, or, or just cut from the outside. Right, yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is what I'm worried about. There's a lot of cutting point. What about open go? Mm -hmm. uh, sure, let's see at this point what would black, uh, yeah. white do. Oh, uh, I see. It looks like it takes a two-space a two jump. Mm -hmm. uh, so white no, is actually that, connect Is that the game or is that well? That's the game. That's the game. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so this may be too, too, much. Just too much. Yeah. yeah. So there are a lot of cutting points on the outside. Yeah. So I'm running some simulation for that white move right now. Okay. Right now, okay. Mm. So after the two, two space extension. Oh, uh, no, before, uh, before that. Uh, before this. Uh, so open guard just actually suggests the pincer here. Uh, before before this the connect. Uh, before connect. Before connect. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> What do you think? So it seems he doesn't, or she doesn't worry about the cutting point at all, and he, she, she, or he doesn't care about the the, the corner at all. So a whole different discussion about she here, yeah, but yeah. that's okay. We'll leave that alone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Jack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Um. So I think uh, this move can. Uh, it, it has the similar concept as the move uh, we were talking about on KGS earlier. Mm -hmm. um, the move I saw yesterday was uh, very surprising because that's in the middle of the fight. Something like this, when when there's a peep here and open go decide to not to connect. Mm -hmm. So I think the idea behind this move is before white connect, white wants to make black heavier mm -hmm. and force black to go outside. And then when you connect, and then it's easier for white to attack the entire group on the top. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a deep move though, yeah. right? So, yeah, the computer has a further... That's, uh, you can really feel that this is reminding me a lot of AlphaGo and just sort mm -hmm. of, I mean, that's that just is a really mm -hmm. big scale. Right, the reading skills are really, really... Wow. Really, really strong. We can't. That would be a hard, hard move to come up with, right? Right. Yeah. And uh, some further suggestions that I just discovered is that Open Go thinks. We were just talking to give you yeah. time to look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, yeah. So this exchange is actually terrible for white. Ter really. Really. Yeah. Wow. It looks at the the vital. Well, because point. remember that that it wanted to play, right? This was the white move for. Uh, right? Yes, but but I, I I just said before this move. When white gets a honey, it's a white 56%. Right. Yes. Mm. So after that, it changes, it becomes black 56%. Oh, really? Flips? Yeah, it flipped. Wow. It's so dramatic. Only because of one move. It's mm. only because of this move. It yes. looks very important. If black plays this move, this, the shape is awesome. It's a great shape. Yeah, maybe the uh, AI mm. is thinking about can we possibly play the other, other direction? Does the honey here work? Mm. Does this work? Yeah, and then you will, um, I will, I will take a longer time to read this version because now uh, after this exchange move, there's a cut here. Yes, but also black is very short in liberties. Mm, but w what about I, I can make a sure. center here and then and then the cut now is more safe for, for black, right? But yes. again, this is a very complicated <laughs> fight, and it will bring a lot of a reading, uh, a lot of variations on it. Mm -hmm. So, so one of the fascinating yeah. things, just to talk about the AI for a sec, is mm -hmm. is that so you can see, you know, what the percentages are, but you still and, and Redmond and I have talked a lot about this in, in in the commentaries, is that it's still a bit of a black box in terms of trying to figure out. Yes. Right. I mean, even and I guess you have to go through each of the variations to see what is AI yeah, actually thinking. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, there's a chat question: uh, mm -hmm. How many readouts? Excellent is question. Elf that's, looking. That's a really good yeah. question. So uh, does this is uh, we are using just fixed ten seconds, which gives a little bit less than twenty thousand rollouts. 
I'm sorry, what was that number again? 20,000. A uh, little bit less than 20,000 rollouts. 20,000 rollouts. Yeah. Can, you, can you talk a little bit about that? I mean, that's, I mean, what are your, so if you, obviously, if you went longer than that. Yeah, the longer is the so better. If you, so if you go, and, and, and what, and how does it jump? Say you had another five seconds. Uh, yeah, it always goes better, but at some certain point, it it's sort of diminishing, flat, return, flat diminishing yeah. returns. Yes. Uh, to, to keep this analysis in fast, I'm just uh, doing 10 seconds for now. And it's good enough. And all our samples are playing with 10 seconds. I think it beats everyone. <laughs> <laughs> good enough. Yeah. Cool. Good question. Really mm -hmm. good question. That's a very... Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so let's, let's go back to original, uh, original game, actual, actual game. So White, White yeah. played this move, and you said this move is, is, uh, is not a very good move. Where it flips, right? Yeah. This is where it flips. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, and it connects. Yeah. And then... Now it... Open Goals have a very interesting suggestion at this point. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Do, you wanna, do, we, do we wanna guess? <laughs> now you gotta give us a hint. The hint is not in the corner. <laughs> oh, I was thinking Nobody about, seems to be interested in the corner. I was thinking about the throw in here, and after I throw in, uh, now I need to use another move to live. So sure. uh, after your hint, obviously, this move is not very good. So um, I probably will still play the pincer here. Sure. Um, yeah, the other, uh, the other hint is this uh, move is also uh, very typical of an AI. <laughs> I think so. here? No. No, 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 no that's here. here? Yeah. Uh, sorry. No. So it's actually uh, this attachment. Wow. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. I don't know how you missed that one. <laughs> right. But how can I. How can this move be good? The corner is. She, not she has to pick her jaw up <laughs> off the floor now. <laughs> Seriously? Oh my! I and yeah. So my this out of my understanding. Attacking, already. attacking this from afar. No, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> the corners is still not alive. Yeah. So we need um, probably Michael Reitman to explain why this. They is would a very take good, him. Yeah. I, I'll send it to him. But I mean, this is this is hours of of looking. You know, of, mm -hmm. of variations, but. I mean, just sort of give an instant response to you talked to when we were just doing the KGS review, right? Mm -hmm. Right. There's kind of a fight going on over here, mm -hmm. right? I mean, this is not alive. This one is, like you say, I mean, right? As a pro, you're looking. You know, this is. Yeah. This is not a settled situation. Not yet. You don't want right. to play away from this. Right. And this. This just. This leaves town. Right. Right. And then it goes out for dinner. Another... Grabs a pizza. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, this is a. Uh, I can't explain it. I mean, if somebody thing. played this against you in a game. Oh no, <laughs> we, we we used to. So Ryan uh, write a lot of uh, or watch a lot of AI games mm -hmm. at home, mm -hmm. and uh, we used to play a lot of games at home. This but, is Ryan Lee. Yeah, okay. but he never used uh, this AI <laughs> move against me. Because you would just me. smack him. <laughs> and I was okay. I'm not gonna continue. Right, anymore, we're done right? here. <laughs> right. This is. This oh. is just insulting. <laughs> Does, can you give us any insight at all here? Uh, I mean, it's... I'm not sure because uh, I guess that man can gi uh, give some typical continuation from the corner. Um, what might this be able to not, get some sentence? Is this even a move? Oh, this is uh, this is, is a you move. You know, if I played this yeah. move when I was a kid in uh, school, yeah. I would get yeah, smashed. You would. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you would get smacked just like this. Yeah. Yeah. So the typical continuation is this, I believe. That's one. One variation. One variation. Yeah. And I maybe this you think this from. is a okay exchange, and then you have time to go back to, to the corner. To, to love the corner. So, so basically, I think uh, this variation, all the exchange moves are already good for white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I don't see why. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, then. Yeah. Okay, then so I have to learn more about it, about this move. Okay, so in yeah. the actual game, actual game uh, White just leaves. Quiet. Yeah, this is a more human yeah. style. You like this? Yeah, because yeah, obviously sort of... this is this is dead, right. and we need to make make it alive. Yeah, but it missed the small exchange about the story. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool. Like I like that. your I like your yeah, idea. So my, yeah, so my first institution is to make a white a black is stronger and then love because after white plays here, you, no longer you're you're going to 
get a scenting from a throwing. Right, 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 right. Because mm -hmm. you're adding another eye that's on less. Right. Good point. Mm -hmm. So with the throwing, I imagine that if this group is somehow enclosed, it's not even live yet, right? Yeah, you mean black group, yeah. right? Right. Mm -hmm. So after this exchange here, and if uh, white enclosed on the outside, this eye is not even a real eye, so white is still able to kill it. Right. You mm -hmm. need to show, just to show people how that works. Yeah, so if black Atari on the outside, since you have a warmer stone, right. and the first line now you are able to connect. Right. White is able to capture uh, oh. the two stones. <laughs> So that's why the throw-in was my first thing. Yeah, I, I like it. I thought that was a good yeah, move. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Yeah, I can't so. believe you didn't come up with a bump against here. No, I can't imagine about that. <laughs> that's going to give you nightmares. Now. You're going to wake up and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I was dreaming about that. Yes, bro. probably it so. It wasn't my dream. I think so. <laughs> okay, and then uh, Black took the two-space extension. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the, as AI yeah, uh, really wants the pin stars, this, seem, this move seems pretty big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So does it jump up now? Yeah. Uh, after this, uh, uh, kicking. This yeah. Black white kick, black stand, and one space jump from white. Yeah. At now, I did analysis, mm -hmm. so it's already at eighty percent for black. Wow. Whoa! Big jump. Yes. Yeah, I think it's because of the slow move here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What AI yeah, wants to do is to create uh, another fight. Mm -hmm. No, you start. You're you're getting the hang of this. You're you're getting the feel for this. So you know what? By looking at some uh, AI's game, I think I improved a little bit mm -hmm. because every every time we we have a different opinion on each move between yourself and your AI, mm -hmm. and the AI moves, it's always looking for the most efficient move on the on the board. And it's just not attached, is it? No. Right? It, it'll it sometimes it'll have a group and a big. Eh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's very it's. It seems a, a piece of cake for, for AI, but mm -hmm. uh, we always think that's a big deal. So that's the, the biggest gap, at least in my opinion, AI's move. But I'm wondering if for you, as somebody who's now using it, as, as many folks out there are, if it helps you to maybe in your own play to get a little bit more of that detachment, right? Yes. So yeah. yeah, so that's why I, I wish I could have one at home so that I would keep studying from it. <laughs> Can you hook her up? <laughs> uh, yeah. Like he said, it's not cheap. It's very expensive. But it's coming down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's coming down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, what's next? So uh, next, uh, for uh, this, uh, Joseki. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, uh, extend on the side. Extend on the side. Mm -hmm. So before that move, let, let's look at the top left corner. Mm -hmm. uh, left corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this shape, uh, yeah, I always suggest you peep. Uh, I was just wondering here. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Mm. Just, just exchange right away. What, yeah. But you, as a professional, just don't have that instinct to do that. It's Aji Keshi, right? No, because we're we're also waiting for some Ajis. Uh, for some purpose corner. for it, right? right. Yeah, because you might want to do something. Yeah, you, you might have the, the next people later on. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I can't understand uh, the the benefit of peeping on the top. Yeah. Maybe so at some point later, you might not be able to get it. Mm, so that's why AI wants to do it right now. Yeah, also with mm -hmm. uh, the high approach and then the, the other Toseki, it's the same there. AI always peeps. Yeah, so he was talking yeah. about this attachment yeah. Toseki here. Yeah. The peep here. Oh, right. not, not this one. Oh, no, the, the jump this and one. Then oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah, this one. Which is another thing that I'm mm -hmm. sure you were taught never to do as a, as a student, right? right. It's just it's bad. A, it's it's a, just a helping move right. for Black. Yeah. Mm. So most of AI after peep and then white tanukis. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. So it's very fast paced style. Mm -hmm. So after peep, uh, everything is here is very um, uh, flexible mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, you don't need to uh, use another move to take care of the entire group. So that's here. nice, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you can use the actual move somewhere else on the board. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is a black corner. And now white push, white block, uh, black block, and then white honey on the top. And now black jump to the corner. This is a big move. Yeah, because since uh, the side is very white, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so usually the two, two stones on the side, you are only allowed to take a three space extension. But now black is taking a larger extension, so black need to move to secure the entire side. Now Tari, connect. And 
to send. Extend. Okay. And I should just reintroduce because I think we mm -hmm. don't, I don't think we have name titles. Is that right? Because we kind of got uh, called in here. So yeah. uh, I'm Chris Garlick. I'm with the American Go e-journal. And with me is Stephanie Yin, uh, well-known commentator and professional one don. And we have a very special uh, guest from the uh, Facebook AI team. We're really pleased to have you here. This is a lot of fun. This was a, it's a special bonus that we have. I hope everybody's enjoying this. And again, hit us with your, your chat questions, and we'll do our best to answer. But uh, you should uh, introduce our guest again. Uh, so this is uh, Chi Chen from uh, Facebook OpenGo team. And yes, he's also a uh, nine done uh, eight. A player. Eight done. Uh, eight done. Sorry, I just promoted you. Eight done. Eight done players. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. very good analysis. So, and then people have been having a lot of fun with the uh, with the simuls. It's three simuls, and then uh, tomorrow there will be a, a pair go uh, match for some you know pretty significant prize money, and uh, uh, and we'll be doing the commentary. Right, I'm very excited about yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good practice. Yes. Sure. So. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back uh, to the actual game. So, Black yeah. played the attachment move here. Yes. to secure the entire court, uh, entire site. Now it's White's uh, turn. Yeah, it seems uh, uh, the corner fight is uh, kind of settled, and this is also uh, popular Joseki after AI comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, before the AI era, I think very few people just play the direct attachment on mm -hmm. this uh, corner. Mm -hmm. And uh, since now it's kind of settled down for this corner, can you guess the next move? <laughs> we're, we're, we're a little he nervous looks, about it yeah, now. He looks very <laughs> He looks a little happy. tricky, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Still here? No, yeah, it's actually, it's actually really? really? Oh, really? What? <laughs> the three Don wins. <laughs> well, it's because it was big before, so it mm -hmm. still must be big, right? If, if things are settled down, yes. mm -hmm. just using, you know, interesting. But we mm -hmm. still don't, uh, so, so you're still thinking the sequence that you had showed would, would still work? You should show people mm, that again. I think so. So, oh. Uh, Black definitely will honey yeah. from the corner, and white will honey from the outside. And it, it will be a, a, I would say, even trade for white. And so white now giving up the, all the territory in the corner to, mm -hmm. to black, mm -hmm. and then white can't get the, the outside territory. That looks mm. nice, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, since on other sides already taken, all the corners are enclosed. This is the last. Um, biggest area to to start with, but but even if you had that in mind, I, I don't think it would it would, it would occur to start that particular never, way, right? Even I mean, though I know this is a good move, <laughs> but I still have to convince myself to play that move. You're sounding like Michael. I have to tell you, I said I know it's right, but I have to convince myself. Hey, because you guys have so much training. I think this is the thing: is that you have training since you were very very young, mm -hmm. and it's 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 sort of baked in, and so yeah. some of these moves just don't. Right, just, um, yeah, it's very hard for us to change the classic concept and theory. But kind of exciting too, right? Yeah, it's, it's good to try it. Mm. But, you, you know, in the tournament, it's still it's <laughs> very hard. We're you got to go back have... to what you're comfortable with. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So nowadays, people like to play a three string invasion. Mm. But uh, I just played uh, the City League final a couple of days ago, and I had a chance to play three string invasion, but I did you not. You didn't do play. it, did you? No, you I, just didn't, couldn't... I, I couldn't convince myself to play the three string invasion. Michael talks about that a lot. That he wants to he, he wants to try stuff in tournament games, mm -hmm. but he just hasn't been able to convince himself. And I think it's because of what you're saying. He just doesn't know. There's mm -hmm. too much mm -hmm. unknown. Right. So. You're not very uh, familiar with all the variations mm -hmm. because um, you have never tried uh, these kind of moves before, but you played a lot of uh, classic Josekis before. You're and you very know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, you're very comfortable with that. Right. Mm. Okay, but I will still try. Good. Probably That's what I want to play Okay, online. you're on record now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then black, uh, white played uh, approach here, yeah. or ex uh, approach, approach first, yeah. and then... No. Oh, and then one space. Really? Yeah. That's this seems a little bit too slow. Too but slow, slow, right? Is it what uh, Open Go suggested as well? This move? Uh, probably not. Probably I not. I, ha I haven't mm. looked at this one yet. Mm -hmm. But my guess would be just because as of all, all AIs uh, mm -hmm. on, on the low approach, I always play this one. 
Yeah, this is yeah. very. Uh, and it's also on the right one. direction. It's, mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. And later on, yeah. this is a very uh, good mm -hmm. extension for either, either black or white. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. this is too, super slow. <laughs> At least two space extension. Yeah. Since black already have some stones. Is there some the weakness there? That such as um, that he worries. I don't see there. There's some ajis, but I don't think a black needs needs to worry about. Um, yeah. So even though uh, white is able to make some exchange here, but it doesn't really help to get anything. Yeah. Uh, so I think the two space should be should be fine. So. It feels very constricted. Yeah, it's a squeeze. And also, one space extension doesn't give a lot of territory mm -hmm. to And black. it doesn't put really any pressure here, right? Uh, on the stone, yeah. Okay. And then black, uh, white now decided to go to the corner by playing the kick on the top, or mm -hmm. white played the attach mm -hmm. first. Attach, attach yeah. first. Yeah. And then tiger's mouth. Tiger's mouth. Mm. It's very interesting because uh, usually your instinct would be to go here right away, yeah, right? And then uh, we already um, uh, learned about this Joseki. That's right. That's right. It was very. It, it is not very good for for white because all the people on the outside are nice the, shape. Nice shape. Congratulations to white. <laughs> this is what Janice Kim used to call the. I think it's the. Dumpling. Uh, uh, it's a. Oh, I'm blanking on the remember the uh, the stealth. This is the stealth oh. bomber shape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I was a, uh, when I'm teaching my student, this is uh, I like to call it dumpling shape because they're all squeezed. There's still. a whole pot of dumplings, isn't it? Yes. I like um, dumplings, not these dumplings. Not but, these dumplings. But the good the dumplings. Real, real dumplings. Oh, so tasty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but uh, in the actual game, uh, uh, Black has decided to pull the stone out. Yeah, maybe he thinks the uh, uh, bottom side is larger. Mm. But still, um, if... Yeah, it's um, fine. Yeah, so still, if Black chooses this Joseki, um, be first, uh, I will be here first, and here again, and then now Black is still able to <laughs> take the side and attack oh. the entire white group. Oh, it's sure. so bad. Yeah, so I have uh, Mia uh, on the mm -hmm, bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm also, I'm uh, yeah, already okay. alive. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, black player is uh, the nine damn professional. Yes. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder why he doesn't. See, we, know, we can ask the nine down later. We can ask him, he will tell us. Not like yeah, this AI not like here. A, it's just the mysteries computer. within mysteries. Yes. Yeah. We can never know the answer. Never know the answer. Okay. And then wait yeah. went to the. This court. is almost referring yeah. to a like a to, normal Joseki, yeah, right? To a yeah, Joseki. And I think white is pretty happy mm. uh, yeah. with this Joseki because all the all the shapes are very well, good. Paired with what could have happened, right? <laughs> this is much better. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now the game is is becoming more peaceful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because all the corners kind of on the side down. are, are yeah. settled. But guess uh -huh. what? Guess uh -oh. the win rate. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Did you speak too soon? <laughs> <laughs> guess the win rate. Uh, oh, good question. Go give us multiple choice. Um, just give us a guess. Uh, just give, yeah. give guess within the like uh, ten percent within ten percent. So guess the uh, tens. So whether what was black the is winning bracket? by ten percent or white is winning by. Basically, 10%. guess it's between fifty to sixty, sixty to seventy, seventy to eighty, or whatever. Give a choice. Seventy to eighty. In favor of. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's, I'm just the host. <laughs> <laughs> but once you choose 70 to 80, you should that's go. That's a hard question. Okay, I always you, take the middle. Sure, but middle is I always take the middle. Middle is like 50 to 60. Then you can say you don't know. So personally, if I'm uh, looking at this game, I like... Oh, actually looking at the game and doing yeah. being a professional? Mm, yeah, okay. I personally like black but I know that's wrong because you you said a white already has a higher percentage to win no uh, no? no that's not uh, well, so plus you don't like this move you like right. this move even so. though this move is slow really but, so you but, still like black but looking at the whole board situation I still like black mm -hmm. so by, by by what by <laughs> that's the hardest part um I would say uh, a little bit not all 
a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and uh, Open Google gives uh, 94 percent. 94 percent. Well, wow. we, okay. Well. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I, I think you, you, you remember something wrong because mm -hmm. I said after uh, this corner, it's oh, already yeah. almost 80 for black. Oh, almost 80 for black. So yeah. after this corner. Oh, we yeah. forgot that. Yeah, we forgot yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm happy with I got it correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's a professional. Well, I'm still surprised to know. Um, 94%. That's 90, pretty like, impressive. Yeah. Mm. So, so white's in trouble. Right. In a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. All right. So in the extra game, white played. Uh, where did white? Uh, white is. Just oh, take the, takes, takes the uh, side. Oh, now it's still black's Ascente. And then black went here first. And take the Ascente. And then extend. Okay. Yeah, so black doesn't really need to do anything right. at this point. This is a big move, though, right. because after this move, all the invasion moves mm -hmm. are not... You just uh, fight really strongly okay. after that. Doesn't exist yeah. anymore. But uh, mm -hmm. white invade anyways, because otherwise... He loses. He, he loses. Right. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and this is a very solid move, too. But since black already have a 90% chance to win, so black can do... Anything. A lot of things, yeah, yeah many yeah. things. As long as mm, there's no group is, is dying, it's dying and yeah, uh, yeah. black is winning. This mm -hmm. is a good lesson, though, for all the amateurs out there, right? Mm -hmm. How many times have you had a winning game and maybe you didn't have an AI and, oh, you had 94%, but you know mm -hmm. you're in a good position, right? Mm -hmm. And I see this happen so many times. I know you as a teacher see this. Mm -hmm. and, and so the, the person in a better position picks a fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I always just suggest um, to count first. To count first and do the whole board situ uh, situ uh, situational uh, judgment or mm -hmm. positional judgment first and then see who is leading or who is behind and then you will make the right decision. Even Bo, but here's what happens though is that you see maybe like a weak looking group mm -hmm. and you think, well, even though I'm ahead, you know, maybe if I kill this group. That, that's too greedy. <laughs> too greedy, yeah. yes. Don't be too greedy when you play. This is good advice. Mm -hmm. Listen to Stephanie. Mm -hmm. All right. But in this case, white has no choice. Otherwise, right, white, white has, has a choice. Come. Resign and go home. Yeah. Or <laughs> fight. start the last fight. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, wait. Black jumped out. Mm. Oh, black peeps. Peep. Yeah, now you see you didn't get this peep anymore. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, so now it's Gote. I see. Uh, but, yes. you know, as a human players, we can't read that far, right? It's, right. This move is already, I would say, 20 moves. Oh, yeah. Tw more than 20 moves. Right. Yeah, Good so you. And um, well, as a human players, I don't think we, we're able to read that far. Yeah, I guess it, from AI specific mm. perspective, you have one stone on the outset. It always helps, basically. He doesn't care so much about like possibly one or two points mm -hmm. at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see that, but maybe when you showed here about that extra move with the, with the peep, I could mm -hmm. definitely say that the shape looked better. Right. So, so and especially when you decided to nuke, because mm -hmm. you need to get prepared to take care of that group right. when your opponent is attacking you. So then your point, I think, is right that that gives you that extra shape. Extra yeah. help. So yeah. if you actually get this exchange beforehand, so if it was like that, then this You're shape is very complete. That's mm. right. Yeah. I now there's now. some edgy here inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. And then white play. No, what black stuff? Oh, no. Oh, no, white. Oh, white, no, white, white, white went here, here. And black started attacking this group. And white. Now, so there are two weak groups on the board. Mm, yeah. This is so, not going to end well. Right. For, for white, right? Mm. See, now, now I can tell. <laughs> yeah, you can tell now Black is leading. And also the four stones are here are kind of lonely. They and it's very, very far lonely. away from, from home. They have no friends. Right, the friends is too far away. Yeah, okay, yeah. so what did uh, White do after this move? Or you want to yeah, add something? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm doing a like, simulation right now to see what it suggests. Oops, it actually suggests to resign. <laughs> oh! Okay, so that means oh, really? the is too high, reaches 98%. 98%, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. So that's really interesting. So, but the human player is, is. Yeah, he will take some chances. Maybe he will catch the two percent. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Yeah. So, so you're saying that AI says it's ninety-eight percent. So we're just done. Yeah. Ninety-eight percent. Wow. I, I think there's a lot to be learned here. For I mean, how many times have you seen you, know, you just keep fighting up because maybe you know something could happen, right? Right. Uh, so it's actually uh, worth fighting in some sense mm -hmm. because I think just uh, recently in a pro game, it's uh, I think Chinese Go League A. There's one side which is 99% and lost. 99% <laughs> uh, just not. Is that one percent? Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, so you guys have seen Dumb and Dumber, right? Dumb, yeah. Dumb and Dumber, the movie, right? Mm -hmm. So you know when he, he's asking her at the uh, at the end, you know, if the, she's like, no chance. I have no chance. He's like, no chance. You know, I don't even have a chance. One in a million chance. Okay, I'm one in a million chance. Okay, so I have a chance. Mm -hmm. So there's your one percent. Mm -hmm. But sure. um, I still have a one suggestion before we're going to uh, wrap up. Mm. Um, so I think it's pretty much what Black is going to win. So if you are playing. Uh, in-person game, do not resign that easily. Still fight until the end That's because right. you never know what's going to happen because you're not playing against AI. People, our human players, still have a chance to make a mistake at the end. Yeah. No, I think that's I think that's right. That's really mm -hmm. you know, and you want to have fighting spirit, right? Right, and also I always tell my students never resign within 150 moves unless your dragon get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Because if you get dragon to get killed, it's very hard to catch up. Otherwise, right. um, it's, it still have some chance to catch up at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think when you're playing, you know, even though th this is not AI, these are really, really strong, strong players. Uh, and and somebody, you know, I I would feel if if I am if I am white, I would just feel like this is just going to be so painful, struggling and struggling, and that's right. Mm -hmm. It's still worth to try. Oh yeah, you, you will. Yeah. You, maybe you will receive some surprise at the end. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes, let's see a few more moves out here. Should we take a couple of moves and then we'll, and we'll wrap up? Then yeah. we are, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, take a break, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. and then, the jump and is the only move. And, and jump, black so. jumps, jumps, and black pushed, and we jumped here. Yeah. Hmm. So it's kind of connected with some weakness. But still, the, yeah. the group on the top is, is getting weaker and weaker, and now it only has one eye. Mm. Mm. Yep. Right. So shall we, um, shall we end, end the game right now? Because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, in my uh, human perspective, I think Black is, is still leading. And uh, if Black doesn't make a very serious or the big mistake in the end, I believe Black is going to win win the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. we will we will uh, update the, the result tomorrow uh, because the game is still is still playing at a strong players room. So we will go. We can go and watch. Yes, <laughs> right. definitely. And you can keep watching it as well. And mm -hmm. uh, just a reminder. Uh, first of all, thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you. Uh, and, Mr. Gong, thank, yeah, you. thank you. It's great. It was really, I have to say, it was. Uh, thank you for for bringing uh, the. Uh, we were going to do just a regular commentary, but this was really fascinating and to sort of get an insight into uh, yeah. into OpenGo. Really, yeah. it's uh, really a pleasure to join you. Yeah, very good work. Really yeah. cool stuff. Um, and again, uh, we'll be doing a commentary Tomorrow. on the Pergo, yes. which is Pergo is always fun. Yes, but it's going to be very confusing for us because. You, I mean, even when you're doing regular Perigo, remember mm -hmm. um, Michael and I did commentary on a, a Perigo in, in China, mm -hmm. and you have, it's always hard trying to think of the different players, and then you have four different players and trying to figure out who's thinking what. Right. So now we have two human players. And the two AI and players. And the two AI players. Mm -hmm. So no problem. We were going to count on Stephanie. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching. All right.